What's up guys? Brendan aka Drip back uh, with another deck profile following the same trend of my deck favorite deck profiles. Sadly I know I haven't done the Thunder Dragon because Thunder Dragon actually places like first on my favorites along with Galaxy Eyes and Blue Eyes because they're all tied for first. I don't they don't have an advantage on either on, on each other because I just love them all that much. But I haven't done it yet because I'm still waiting on the uh, Thunder Dragon Lords from Edco to come in the mail. It's been a month and a half, but it's whatever. Ugh, it's annoying. But um, with that being said, I'd go ahead and felt like I'd do another deck profile that I like uh, right up there in one of the top decks I, I like playing because it's just, it's just fun. And that is uh, Danger Dark World, as you can see in the title. Um, this deck is super explosive and the build that we got I feel in my opinion is the most competitive Yeah, it can probably have a little tweaks here and there but this one my side deck and extra deck allows me to go first or second Yes, our build is mainly going second because there's not very many going second decks and a lot of decks right now like to go first So you allow them to go first you break their board OTK. They're gonna be like, okay This is an OTK based deck It's dark world. Everybody knows dark world is an OTK based deck Let's make them go first. Well, you make them go you make me go first. I'm already sided in stuff to Beat you going first because I want to make a board that um, Dark world shouldn't make honestly And as I'll show you I won't show you the combo because I want this video to get 15 likes We've been, like I said millions of times, we've been getting plenty of views. It's just we need people to give us likes. We, uh, uh, in order to show the combo video, I want this video to get 15 likes. That's our goals on our videos. It's 15 likes right now until we meet 15 likes. Once I know we get 15 likes, we can get we can go from there. But um, with that being said, let's go ahead and get straight into the deck profile. I'll explain stuff as I go. Um. Starting it off with our Dark Worlds, we got three Graffa. Graffa is just gross. Um, do not play less than three. Do not play less than three. I don't care if Snow searches it. I do not care. You want it in your hand. This card does everything for you. It helps break boards, and he gets he refills your hand at the same time. He refills your hand. Let me say that again. He refills your hand. You get this guy in the graveyard, you pop, you get a body on board, pop it back to hand, special summon him from the graveyard. He's not a hard once per turn. So, yeah. Play him at three, do not play him less than three. Then we are playing three gorgeous near mint, alti brows. Brows just gross. He's an additional, he's a plus one. He uh, gives us an additional draw Oh, uh, when he's discarded off of a danger. So that's why we play him at three. For the most part, all of our all of our uh, bodies, I mean, all of our dark worlds, either special summon themselves or or search or draw. That's it. We are playing uh, three snow. She's the road of the deck, and she's gorgeous. So sadly, I wish she came in ulti, but her max rarity is secret. But it's okay. We got the first dead secrets. I almost had this deck completely maxed out. Only thing I'm missing is the dealings in ulti. I'm so close, guys. So close. And then the next one we are running, we are only running two of, and that is beige. Two beige. Beige only run, we only run two beige because uh, he special summons himself, and the rest of them we, we, we play special summon themselves. The only reason we even play this guy at all, for, uh, for that being um, said, is the fact that he's a level four. Uh, we play rank fours in our extra deck, so uh, we want the we want him on the field with these guys and the rest of our dangers. Um, continue with the dark world. We play the most expensive dark world there is right now. Uh, is Lucian. Uh, Lucian is like a fifteen dollar card, but for the most part, this deck. The, I mean, my builds for the are not going to be budget anyways. They're going to be the most competitive and most expensive you could probably get unless somebody actually asks me for a budget. But for the most part, other than my expensive cards, you can get this card, you can get this deck for easily, like, it can easily be a budget deck. But continuing on, we got um, two Silva, because it special summons itself, and it's a body. So it helps us, we get our, bo we get our board out, we'll graph it, we'll pop our stuff back, refill our hand, danger it away, special summons again, because they're not a hard once return, and it's, it's just gross what you can do with this deck uh, and the last dark world we play is one gold mainly because it doesn't come in ulti no i'm just kidding um 
we play it because it's a weaker of the two. It's a weaker of all of them. Yes, it's the same as Silva, but Silva's an ulti, so we got to play it. Um, but other than that, that is all of our Dark Worlds. We just pretty much want to get bodies on board, blow up, uh, pop our opponent's board slowly at a time, one card at a time, and then um, OTK. And then for the Danger Package, this is a 40-card deck. I know it's crazy to run a Danger Dark World 40-card deck, but it's only 40 cards because of consistency issues because I do not have all of the Dangers. Uh, we are running three Mothman. I know a lot of people don't like it at three because it's a it's a neg one because your opponent your opponent draws one as well. Well, if you OTK him that turn, it doesn't matter if they draw. But we play him at three because he's a level four. And we need level fours if we're forced to go first so we can overlay into our rank fours. And he's a draw, guaranteed draw, which is what we want. So our next card we play is uh, Danger Bigfoot. I would play this card at three. I did not own three. But that is the only reason. What? I threw it away. Because we can get you a new one. Sorry, guys. That's my kid. Um, my next card is one Nessie. One Thunderbird. One Shoot Cobra. One Jack Jack. And one Noodle. My reasoning behind these is this right here. I would play this at three. I don't own three. I play him because he obviously he pops and he's a level eight. Play Nessie because she searches anything. Thunderbird pops a back row, level eight. Gorgeous. Uh, Chupacabra, special summons anything I could want. Jackalope gets me everything I want. Tsuchinoko Noodle is a, is a body that I can link with when I'm going first. And of course, it's just a danger name. Uh, with that being said, that is my danger lineup. Uh, on to the spells now. We are running, forgive me because these are kind of roughed up, but I didn't make them this way, I bought them this way. Uh, three dealings, uh, rest in peace, it's not the sleeve, it's the actual card. Dealings, yes, a lot of people want to get it, you know, both player draws one. Yeah, like I said before, if you go to came and ain't going to matter, they're not going to be able to play. Well, you know what, they can draw on a hand trap. Well, yeah, they can draw on a hand trap, but not a lot of people know what to hit in Dark World, so it's okay. And what are you going to hit? My plus one? Okay, me drawing? I, I don't I, I don't care. I already got my body in the graveyard. I just want bodies in the graveyard. There's a real reason I even run danger. So, okay, you, you stop me from drawing. Big whoop. Congratulations. You wasted a hand trap. Um, then we play three allure because it's free. Uh, it's, it's free. It's pot of greed. And then we are running, it's going second deck, you'd be dumb not to run it if you have access to it. If you don't have access to it, then that's perfectly fine. I completely understand you don't want to buy into Konami's bullcrap where you have to pay to win. But we run three Lightning Storm. Takes care of whatever we want, baits out and negate if necessary. And it's just Lightning Storm, it speaks for itself. Then we run two gates, do not run three, it's bricky. Do not run one, it's not enough. Two. Because if they pop your Dark World, you have no real... Because in the grind game, you need to. The reason why is because if they pop your Dark World, your gates, then you have no advantage in it, in it for an additional draw and to get bodies on board. Because you banish, discard, special summon, draw. Dis and banish, discard, special summon, draw. Not only that, if you have one on the field, you draw another one. You, spe you uh, play one over top, and you can do it again. Because it's not a hard once per turn. You just you do it. Banish a Dark World. Discard a Dark World. Draw a card. Play over top, discard, banish, draw. It's it's gross. So you can just keep doing that over and over again. And then um, a card that a lot of people don't use, and I don't know why. It's disgusting. I was running this at three, but I cut it down to two just to trim the deck. And that is two response team. It's cheap. It's like penny stock. And, and you, you can normal summon a Mothman because this deck doesn't need a normal summon. You can normal summon Mothman, target Mothman, and like I say, you're playing against the Rock deck. You can normal summon Mothman, play response team, target Mothman, target Appalosa, and pop them back to their hand. They can't negate it because it's a spell. They would have to negate it with something else. So it's it's really gross in that matter. And then the last card we play is God Card. Uh, God card Destruction. It's can't say enough. It You discard your whole hand, chain link, whatever you want, whatever order, and go completely off from there. Um, but yeah. That's the main deck, guys. Uh, let's go ahead and um, get into the extra deck where it gets really spicy because a lot of people are going to be like, how are you running this? How are you running that? How are you going to summon this? How are you going to summon that? Well, 
it all gets explained in the side deck, I promise. Um, the first card we play is uh, Mascarina. Uh, we're going to start off with the Lynx. Uh, Mascarina is just Mascarina, so that's that's why. It's since can't say enough. And then next is uh, Apollosa, both the goddess, because going first, we need her if we can make her because she gives us negates and she gives us a purpose to go first. Then we got the Nightmare Package. We got Phoenix and Unicorn because you run an IP, you might as well run Unicorn. And then next, we are running Union Carrier. Yes, we are running the Buster Lock. Yes, we are because we're degenerate and we're stupid like that, but it's okay. And now the real saucy card that we run in our extra deck is Galatea, the Orcus. Automotion, Mason, whatever her name is. Um, I'll show, I'll tell you guys. Uh, well, I'm not, actually, I'm not going to tell you guys because I want y'all to like the video and get us to 15 and I'll show you how. Um, and now for the fusions, we only run two. Uh, actually, no, I take that back. We are running one more Link Monster, but it, it ignore it. It is Mech Knight Avermax. This is actually. This is not Avermax. This is actually Curious. Ignore it and pretend it's a Curious because it is a Curious. Ignore it. I just couldn't find my Curious in my binder before making this video, and I wanted to make this video and get it out to you guys. Um, now, onto the Fusion. We play two Fusions, and people are going to be like, what the heck? Yeah, yeah. I play this card in my, few, in my, in my um, Dark Worlds. I play uh, Dark Law and Anki. <laughs> Um, you'll see in the side deck, we play Mass Change 2 and our entire deck start. You play, make Anki when it gets close to time and you want to poke for 16 directly, no matter what they have on field. This is pretty much our version of um, uh, Sky Striker Hayate because it can attack directly. And then Dark Law because it's a blowout card against most decks. And now for the XZs, we are running 1 Dengirsu, 138, 1 Abyss Dweller, and then the Dragalugian package. Uh, 97, 92, Numeron, because we run rank eights. That's why we can do it. It, it. I like this extra deck, and normally you don't have to worry about the extra deck with Dark Worlds, but you know what? I, uh, I don't have access to uh, Extravagance, so it, doesn't, it does matter what I run in my extra deck, because Extravagance is really, in my opinion, really good in this deck, because you don't matter normally what you run your extra deck, you can just get a free plus two, and you can draw into your dangers and draw into your uh, stuff, but I don't have access to it, so I have to make a, a centric going first and going second with the extra deck, which I feel like this is really good, honestly. Um, now, on to the side deck. Uh, side deck's really spicy, too. It really is. You might want to bring a glass of milk. Um, we got, uh, three sphere mode, obviously. Sadly, we do not run the chicken, even though we run the chicken nugget. Um, I didn't have room for it. Uh, if you've seen my previous builds. Then we got evenly. Evenly isn't, says enough. And for trash trap decks and trash control decks, we got three Denko. So if you're playing against El, let's just summon Denko on them and smile. If they don't have, uh, Solemn Judgment, then that's that. Um, and then we were running three mass change two because we yeah, we can make our dark law or our Anki and it does not discard for cost because dark worlds do not get their effects when they're discarded for cost. But you know what? Mass change two does not discard for cost, so you get a free plus one off of it. It's very good. Um, and then of course the uh, the destruction sword, and then a symbol skeleton and crescendo for our little orcus combo that we can do for force to go first um but yeah with that being said guys that is the deck profile main deck side deck and extra if you would please like comment comment what you guys think of the deck what 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 how you think well about anything really well if you like it you don't like it how's your day going what are you running uh, competitively this season um, what's your favorite deck that I've made so far? What would you like me to make next? I know someone commented wanting us to make an ancient gear deck. We were actually working on that as we speak. Um, and we could have that out soon. Um, so we listen to you guys. We read your comments. It's not guaranteed that we'll make your, uh, the deck profile, but we'll do our very best to make it. Um, but with that being said, please like comment and subscribe.
if you haven't already and become part of the DDD fam. And uh, with that being said, you guys stay safe with the coronavirus and everything that's going on. And uh, you take care. You have a wonderful day.